Hey guys, what's up? We hit 200,000 subscribers. I remember when I hit 100,000 subscribers a few months ago and I thought, oh my god, it is going to take me years to get to 200,000. Like, I thought it was gonna take me so long to get to my next 100,000. And it happened like in four months. So that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty rad. Y'all guys are pretty rad. Yes, the giveaway is happening, of course. Still have to go through and pick the winner, so I'm not announcing it in this video, but I will in my next one. I don't know what this is. I ordered it online. I thought it was gonna be really cute. Kind of weird. Kind of just looks like I wrapped cardboard around my neck, but that's okay. It's fashion. You know me, I'm super stylish. I, I saw a comment the other day on my videos that said, I would really like to subscribe to you but you talk too much, so it's not happening. If you're wanting to look at content that does not involve people talking, go to Instagram. Go to Instagram, go to Pinterest, but get off YouTube because pe people are gonna talk on YouTube. That, that's, that's what we do. This little commentary that I do like in the beginning and towards the end of my video that isn't about the topic of the video, none of them are like long enough of a story to make a video in itself about. I was going to film this video about two hours ago, but um, you know how they're redoing my floors right now because I flooded my floors? Yeah, well, um, fun story, I don't even know how to say this, but it's not, it's actually not that bad, so I'll just, I'll just come out and say it. They were, they, the, I flooded the floors again. Um, the funny thing about this is that people really think that my parents must hate me and that, you know, why haven't they kicked you out, blah, blah, blah. And I see all this negative stuff about like, why are you living in your parents' house and doing this with your, you know, making your parents miserable. One, if my parents really didn't want me here, they could kick me out completely. They could. But two, they don't want me out of here. Every time I say I want to move out, my mom is just like, no, don't do it. Stay forever. Stay till you're 50. Number three, because I think I'm on number three now. I ruined our wood flooring and um, my mom thanked me. My, my mom didn't like the wood floors. Um, she never wanted wood. Now that um, I ruined them, she had a reason to get rid of them. So you're welcome, mom. And um, yeah, I flooded the floors again today. I used my RDI unit. I didn't use my, but I used a really old bucket just because I needed a little bit of water. I was like, I'm just gonna run it for a few minutes just to get a little of water to top off one of my tanks. And then I took a shower and I forgot about it. And I went back to my pantry with our new tile covered in water. So my mom, dad, and I spent about two hours, maybe a little less, cleaning all of the water off of the floor. And while we were scrubbing, I was like, so mom, you mad at me yet? Come on, you, you gotta be mad. And she's like, no, I think this experience brought us together. She's like, we will never forget, we had a family bonding moment, cleaning your flooded floors. And we're always gonna remember this. Um, yeah, no, I felt terrible about it though, so don't think I'm just like, I don't give a heck or something. So many hecks are given. I just am really forgetful. And I do have one more announcement before getting to the very, very main topic of this video. I know, I know, I, sh I, I just talk too much and you just can't bear to subscribe to me because you can't fast forward through things you don't care about. I know, it, it's just hard. Yesterday I decided something. I decided that, um, it was... I decided to get a pet. I know. I know you've all just been dying for me to finally get an animal and don't worry, I finally brought a creature home into this house. I know it's never been done before. And I did. That's his cage. This is a 40 gallon tank. Ooh, big. Before you try to hurt me in the heart by calling me a hoarder, just know, my full time job is taking care of these animals. That's all I do, that's all I do. That is all I do, that is all I do. I have no life, I have no friends, I have nothing. This is my life. And I love it. All I do is take care of these animals. My life revolves around taking care of animals, seeing them thrive, I love it. I love taking care of animals, I love interacting with them, I love owning them. I have so much fun with what I do and I truly do spend all my time doing it because I'm so passionate about it. So this isn't like a case where I'm just buying animals and throwing them in a little cage and hoping they survive. This is my life. Yes, I do have way more animals than a normal person should probably have, but this is my job, this is my life, and so there are some extenuating circumstances that make this okay and make my animals be able to thrive and be so healthy. Even those videos about my hedgehog poking his eye out. But we'll get to that in a minute, we'll get to that in a minute. Let me just show you my new animal. This is his enclosure. Ooh, ah, is that wood? Ooh, is that a dish of water that needs to be a lot deeper, but I only got a shallow dish just for a minute, but I'm gonna get a bigger one. 
Yes. Is that a dragon? Yes. Oh, he's sleeping. Aw, I feel bad now. I'm gonna have to wake him up for this. Hello? Open your eyes, it's time to rise and shine. He is a red eye crocodile skink with some moss hanging on him. So I'm only going to show y'all him really quick. One, because they don't like being held that much, and two, because I'm going to make a whole video about him, and that's not what this video is about. This is a red eye crocodile skink. As much as I wish it was a dragon, it is not. He is super cute, and I love him, and I've been looking for a crocodile skink for a really long time, never been able to find them. My camera won't focus on him! Oh, well. So a little over a month ago, my dear, lovely, beautiful, amazing, wonderful, fat, grumpy hedgehog, Kovu, poked his own eye with his quills. Apparently, he damaged his eyes with his quills. This is this is me being a hedgehog. These are the quills, and they just, oh my god, went in his eye. It's been the hardest thing in the world to treat. Hedgehogs in general, you know, they don't like to be touched. Most of them aren't the most friendly creatures on the planet. Um, they're adorable and sweet and awesome, but they're very timid, most of them, depending, I mean, there are some that are friendly. But anyway, it's hard enough to medicate a hedgehog with some kind of oral medicine where you shoot it in their mouth. It's a million times harder to treat a hedgehog's eyeball. I have to squirt stuff in both of my hedgehog's eyes every six hours. Every six hours. It is the hardest thing in the world. But I do it because I love them. It is absolutely so hard, so hard. So for about 10 more days, I still have to medicate him every six hours. And um, in order to medicate him, I have to put him in water. That way he won't duck his face because he'll hit the water. And he still will do it sometimes. He, he would rather breathe in water and risk drowning than he would have me touch his eyes. So it's still not that easy at all. But anyway, I have to get it and squirt it in his eye. And I have to actually make sure it gets in there because he's going to duck and move. And it's hard. It's been a long journey with Kovu. Uh, one, we went to the vet and he got his uh, eye sewn shut. Here's that footage. So Kovu got his eye sewn shut. Um, his eyeball is in there, they didn't remove his eyeball. But they sewed it shut so it would have a better chance of healing. Uh, a week later, they took the stitches out and nope, it did not heal. So nope, still gotta medicate. Yeah, and here is footage of me medicating Kovu. Then his other eyes still messed up too. He went under anesthesia and we checked him out everywhere and the only thing that's wrong is his eyes. He's perfectly healthy otherwise, but his eyes are messed up. His injuries in his eyes have turned to ulcers. Again, this is just what the vet tells me. And then, uh, yeah, if they don't get better, if they keep getting worse or even if they just stay the same, I'm gonna have a blind eyeless hedgehog, but I still love him. His eyes will have to be removed if it, they don't get better. So, 
pray for me, or better yet, pray for Kobu. I'm not the one that's going to be losing eyes here. But um, hedgehogs have really, 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 really bad vision. So if he loses his eyes, it won't be a big deal. They're pretty much blind as is. Their vision is not their go-to sense. Really, their most dominant sense is their smell, and they can really get around very easily just relying on their sense of smell. And number two, they have really good hearing. So, so even if he's blind, he's still gonna be able to see, and no, he won't be able to see. He's gonna be blind, he won't see. Even if he's blind, he will still be able to hear and smell and live a very happy hedgehog life. I do have a lot of hedgehog tips I want to come out with and I will be doing a whole new video about them because I've learned so much about them. I've had hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are the very first pet I really ever owned myself and I've had them, I've had them for so many years and I've just learned so much about them. So I would really like to do some updated care videos because the only videos I have out that actually are about them are a million years old and I they were edited terribly, they have really bad qual- it's really bad quality, edited really bad, and actually I've changed my opinions and I've gotten more knowledge on hedgehogs since then, so I really need to do an updated video. Also good news, I am finally putting my 150 gallon in my room. I'm almost done kind of organizing my room and getting everything set up. This upcoming Thursday at 12 o'clock p.m., I have some friends of mine from a local aquarium shop who are coming over and helping me lift it in because the tank is pretty big and I can't lift it. Actually, I tried to lift a 40 gallon, and look what I did. And by 40 gallon, I mean the 40 gallon that's behind me. And um, yeah, it's broken for some weird reason. I don't know who broke it. It wasn't me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Um, just double check if you think you have. Just, just double check. Make sure you're subscribed. Just do it. Just, just subscribe, okay? Subscribe. If you just want to hit a thumbs up, that's cool. If you want to hit a thumbs down, that's cool, I guess. If you did not hear about the fact that I ruined my floors, you can check out how I uh, fixed that mess right there. And uh, you can watch another video right there. And you can subscribe right there. Bye.